Well, hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Plays Black Mesa. So it's been a, um, a bit of a hiatus recently because I've been off being busy and having fun and stuff. So I'm just going to take a moment or two to try and remember what was going on when I last played. But, oh, yes, that was going on, right. I remember. So yes, there were those um, soldiers knocking around here who were trying to fight that rather large fellow down over there. Um, and they didn't do a very good job of it. They got completely obliterated. And I don't really want to end up in the same position myself, especially as he appears to have some sort of plasma weapon that I don't really want to get in the way of. Maybe if I hide here for a moment or two, I'll get bored and... Yes, that sounds like he might be wandering off. Yes. Can I go through this door? No. Can I go out of this door? Yes, this seems like a bad idea though. A very bad idea indeed. Stop it. Ah. No way to hide. Okay, that was a, a good start, wasn't it? So, there's nothing else in here to do. As soon as he spots me, he can basically destroy me with that um, plasma weapon. I don't think there's any other ways through from down here. And I've got full health, so I can't get that. Um, I don't see any obvious places to run and hide out there. But this is clearly a puzzle. Oop, spotted. Spotted, help. <laughs> okay, so I can... I can sprint, but something, something worth remembering. Um, and also down here I can be safe. But where do I sprint to? Over here maybe? That's the floating barrel. Oh shit. Ow. That was not the right place to be standing. Okay. So I've got past the massive stompy thing. Which is a good start. Um, so hopefully around here somewhere there'll be I don't know, a giant rock I can drop on its head or something like that. Something it will. Oh, Jesus. You don't know how close you were to getting one between the eyes. Listen, mister, if you can get the power on, that train down there will take us to the surface. I wouldn't try myself, but it's a long way down to the generator room. And there's. things in the way. <laughs> Thing, yes. There's a big red button here. Check power, check track, okay. Right. So as Barney said. I think I'm gonna have to sit this one out. I need to head downstairs and find the uh, oh Alpha. Um, right, so I was going to say, I'll uh, nip back around where those um, vortigaunts were and try and find, uh, see what was down the other way, but apparently I'm not going to do that now because this looks a bit too steep to climb. Yep, too steep to climb. Now I did see another head crab, yes there, oh, lots of them in fact. There we go, that's not so bad. As long as you see them coming, they're not too bad to deal with. Especially if they don't disappear to understand railings. Um, it's when they, when they leap out of the darkness at you and... Yeah. That's when they're dangerous. Oh, 
Oh! I was trying to find my grenades. There they are. Oh, for goodness sake. That was possibly the least effective grenade throw I've ever done. <laughs> but I didn't really want to waste um, more effective ammunition on the headcrabs. Oh well, I'm still moving. Come down from there. There we go. I don't find the um, weapon switching system very intuitive. I don't, and I think that's probably my fault, to be honest. Whoa! Something exploded. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't seem to be very good at picking out the correct weapon just from spinning the mouse wheel around a bit. Um, as I say, I'm pretty sure that's just me being rubbish. But it's still a bit frustrating. Nope. Nice and clicky down here. Oh, a ladder. Okay. What was that? I'm not sure, but I've got quite a lot of useful stuff from it, so um, no complaints here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Back in Soldier Town, apparently. Didn't do a very good job of getting that turret, apparently. I'm going to about to get a grenade around the corner, aren't I? Let's preempt him. Success! There we go, that's better. I about to say, I can still hear shouting, there must be some more of them. <laughs> oh, nice. Grenades. Um, Submachine gun grenades. Any more for any more around here? I'm not sure what that was, but there was definitely quite a lot of material to help there. Ah, sick of death. Any good? No. I do feel like I'm playing a bit spray and pray around here, um, but I don't know whether that's because I'm not good enough or just because that's what the weapon encourages you to do. Obviously this one doesn't encourage you to do that, but I'll probably get killed if I use it too much, just due to, again, not being a very good shot. I see... Black Mesa seems to believe in the um, Star Wars theory of, um, of safety. No, that's not, actually, that's not quite fair. They do have some railings. They're just a bit... 
Um, they just have a lot of bottomless pits as well to go with them. I hear sort of electronics-y noises. I'm wondering if that's another turret. Maybe not. Maybe it's just some computer systems. Aha. Catch! Oh, goodness sake. Maybe I should be using a shotgun. I don't know if I'd be better with this or not. I also have no... Oh, there's a a, a, a a rogue submachine gun on the floor there. Maybe the grenade was effective. No. I guess I need to pre-cook the grenades a little bit because the um, marines understand what grenades are and they react quickly enough that when you throw one at them, they'll run away. So perhaps if I... I don't want that yet. I've got 91% health. Okay. Can I jump over this? Yes. Um, yeah, so I was saying, the um, marines react quickly enough to seeing a grenade coming in their way, but they'll avoid it and therefore you throwing, throwing grenades at them isn't, isn't enormously effective. Uh, where did I come from? I came from here, went up there. There wasn't anywhere else to go around here, was there? I don't think there was. Oh no, I'll take it back. This looks like a very one-way trip. Jeez, five of them. Yeah, one um, submachine gun clip isn't enough to do with five, like, five noisy chappies. Uh, Any more? Maybe this is going to be another get the fan blowing hard enough it'll take you back up again. Things. This is clearly the lift that was up there with all the weapons on it. Is that a... I'm not sure what that is. Onwards and downwards, maybe? I think there was further down to go. And not just by jumping off the edge. Oh, there's, there's over there. This is one of those it's a bit too quiet moments, I think. I'm a, I have this feeling I'm about to get jumped by something. Maybe not. This must be the power thing that the uh, security guard is talking about. Oh, something's blocked. So this, this fan isn't turning. So, I think that's what this blocked warning here is referring to. So presumably I need to go a little bit further down and clear out whatever marine corpses or head crabs or zombies or whatever are uh, holding it back. I hear zombies. Sounds like some of the S there. I wonder if that cleared it out, whatever it was. 
go and have a look. I think maybe it did. <laughs> Rough gratuitous explosions. I mean, that seems to be pumping away quite happily. I can't get through any of these doors. But I think I need to go back upstairs. And turn this one on manually. Yes, the... Oh, no, it still says block. Oh. Great success. Apart from that, <laughs> oh great! <clears throat> all right, timing. Right, now we just go all the way back up again. Is this a catch? The no, it's not a big enough fan to blow me all the way back up the top. Okay, worth a try though. I suppose I've already used that in the last couple of episodes, so it'd be a bit too um, soon to do it again. But I can't get up any further than here, because the stairs have gone. So I guess that means there must be another way. Is this powered now? Yes. Watch for Freeman. Oop. Yeah, but not dead. Ow. <laughs> that was never going to end well. <laughs> This is one of those places where I don't really know what the right weapon is. I mean, apparently it's this one. At least if they come close enough. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I never know which weapon to have because the shotgun is absolutely devastating at short range but a bit feeble at longer range as we just saw. The um, submachine gun is a bit pathetic generally but it's better at range than the, than the shotgun. Where was that scientist hiding? Uh, was he hiding in the inside that crate? Yeesh. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the, um, the shotgun is absolutely devastating at short range, but hopeless at long range. The submachine gun is a bit pathetic in general. Oh, that's better. The Magnum, great at long range, well, compared to other stuff at least. Um, but slow and bit of a faff to use, even though it's got the zoom, because it's very, very slow, so your, your fire rate is up to the um, But it does reasonably well. I suppose it'd probably be really good at short range as well, if you're a bit better at twitch aiming than I am. So I suppose that's just a reason to get good.
Where even am I? I've forgotten. I've forgotten where I'm trying to go now. Oh, it's that turret I smacked earlier. Was this after the? Yeah, this is after. Yeah, this is after the um, after the Barney. So if I go back down here, it should take me back to him. Are they going to open the door? As I said, shotgun absolutely devastating at short range. Ow! But a bit lacking at longer range. And these marines just keep popping up in places I don't expect them to. I mean, I suppose this trick is just to assume they're going to be around every bloody corner, but... Uh, anything left in this? Yeah. Is this new? I'm not sure. Stuff anyway. Oh yes, this is what the security guard was. Uh, I'm never gonna make it. You better go on without me. Whatever you're doing, is it going to result in getting rid of that gigantic plasma beast? Okay, so we've opened a security door. Power is on. Did he spot me then? Yes, that's a broken window. I think he probably did. Am I supposed to kill that through sheer sort of force of large numbers of bullets? It feels like one of those plot type enemies that you need to take out through cunning and... Um, what's the word? Cunning and using the um, scenery or using the level because they're not going to be defeated. They're not. You're not going to be able to defeat them just by force of bullets. But those satchel charges are down there on the turntable. No, come on, another step forward. Oh. No, I didn't seem to do a lot. <laughs> so right, I spawned in there I think then went through that door down there that was my sort of sprint of faith so what if I try and go that way this time can I get lucky can I not for run down here no I'm doomed oh. maybe if I'd gone the right way there <laughs> where's it going to put me Okay. Let's wait for it to be looking the wrong way and try that again. Because I think that might have been the right idea. I just ran into a dead end because fail. Oh, spotted. Help. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. 
<laughs> what does this button do? Nothing. What? Oh, come on. That's clearly a, meant to be a trap for him. Oh, right, I see. Give me that. One in there. Don't get caught on the... <laughs> is this the point where I can complain about the ladder physics again? I think it probably is. <laughs> one in there, one in there. Wait for the plasma to stop. This time I actually get on the ladder, there we go. And try again. Yes, there we go. Nice. So, um, yeah, as I said, it looks like one of those sort of enemies where you're supposed to find some convenient piece of the level to take them out with, rather than um, take them down with sheer force of bullets. That was one of the things I found quite interesting about um, Painkiller, actually, the, the, uh, the game Painkiller, was that there was a lot of the time you'd find those sort of massive enemies where you think, OK, there must be some sort of part of the level where I'd drop an enormous spike on them or roll trees on them like an Ewok or something like that. But no, actually, you were expected to just keep shooting and shooting and shooting at them and maybe and lots and lots of circle strafing to avoid whatever they were flinging at you. And eventually they'd collapse. So they were literally just massive bullet sponges. But having played lots of this sort of game and I suppose various Nintendo games like Zelda and whatnot where it's work out the boss's secret weakness and then do it three times. It was a bit of a um, bit of a surprise. I suppose it's not the first game to have bullet sponges in it to be fair. So how do I move this train? Because it's kind of in the way. Maybe I'm not meant to go that way. Um, yeah, not the first game to have bullet sponges. They've, um, I think it was, what was it? It was, um, yeah, Spec Ops The Line was another one that had, it was a bit um, unexpected for that sort of thing. Because it seemed to be sort of trying to be a realistic shooter, apart from, you know, the whole psychological thing that it's famous for. But it was generally trying to be reasonably realistic. And yet, later on in the game, when they decided it was, wasn't, difficult, wasn't difficult enough at that point or something, you ended up running into enemies that were, again, massive, massive bullet sponges. So there'd be, there'd be a guy would turn up in some sort of heavy armour type thing. And then you'd throw goodness knows how many machine gun rounds at him. And eventually he'd fall over. But it kind of took me out of the game a bit. Right, where are the controls for this turntable? Probably up in that room, since I can't see them down here. Um, question is though, if I do find the controls for this turntable, where am I going to go with it? Anything good here? Because I've just explored down that line. The only, the only, basically the only way there is to go. And I found the end of it. That one's got closed doors and saying no, go the other way. Hmm. Okay, let's go back up topside and have a look for the um, look for the controls for this turntable. the security door. So long as you stay out of the big guy's way, you should be fine. Yeah, big guy's not a problem anymore. Come on. 
Alright, maybe it's not this thing. Am I being completely and utterly blind? Maybe I can push that out of the way. No, there's, I won't be able to use the point. I feel like I must be missing something obvious here. They give me two of these things as well. But I can't use this one. Okay. Oh. Is that a handle I can... No. It's the wrong... It's not the right shade of red. It's just red because it's reflecting light rather than because it's usable. <laughs> So it turns out all you actually have to do is drive the train onto the turntable a bit all the way and push a bit further and it will magically turn all by itself. I'm slightly disappointed. <laughs> and, um, oh well, never mind. Hang on, looks like possibly go down the side of this one. No, nope, no way around there. Okay, back to the train. scientist pal said they give you a message. Uh, you're supposed to take this old rail system up to some sort of satellite delivery rocket or something. I don't know where it is exactly. The old guy was so worried about getting out alive he didn't think to stop and tell me. Anyway, th the main thing is, the military aborted the launch. So when you find the rocket, well, if you find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Now, get going. I'm going to stick around and help any other stragglers. Very brave. Um, no, it doesn't look like there's anything to pick up in here. So raise the barrier? Yes, there we go. Okay, so I've got an objective. Take the train, launch the rocket. Sounds like Factorio, to be honest. Um, and see where we go from there. Ooh, boxes. Let's see what's in the boxes. Oh. I'm sure the security guard would take it up, but, um, oh well. a long way down. I'm sure I spent the last two or three episodes climbing up a bit and getting a bit closer to the surface and now this is taking me all the way back down again. I hear zombie sounds. Yes, there's one. Yeet! And a head crab somewhere in the water. Just what I need. Get out of the water, Freeman. Where is it? <laughs> hey, hey, crabs. Would a grenade in the water be overkill at this point? I don't even know if that got it. I didn't hear a headcrab dying noise. <laughs> Apparently.
apparently I still haven't quite learned how many um, blows to give a zombie before I uh, before running away from this. No, there doesn't seem to be much in here at all, just the health health machine. Okay, onwards. I'm impressed that this train is working quite so well in this water. Um, given that there's, I can, I'm sure, yes, there's three rails there, so presumably it's um, electrified. And yet the whole lot isn't sparking and deadly. Um, oh well, never mind, let's not uh, complain too much. That looks like a barnacle there to me. Also one of the spitty creatures as well, I think. I can't quite get the angle on it. Peekaboo! Where is it? I was going to say and a Vortigaunt as well, but <laughs> then it showed its face, so that's alright. This looks like a suitably um, unwise place to stop, so <clears throat> I'm, I seem to have been playing for ooh, a bit longer than I usually intend to, so I'm going to call this an episode here. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, I feel like I've actually made some progress here, even if I did go splat right at the start of it, due to running in not quite the right direction. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll uh, carry on up this hill next time and see, what, see what's at the top of it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then.